They give him a gain of 38. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss, but with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. On the counter, this is high. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense. Right and he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Logan Paulson from 10 yards out. And the 49ers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now, what can the Niners do as they face a big two-point conversion here? All right, here we go. Garoppolo looks to throw. And his pass incomplete. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when to go that for chart. one. I do <laughs> love it. It helps you with your decision-making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part point of the game. Go for two. Try and make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Cooper Cup was his intended target, and now it's second down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now Gurley, handoff left. And some space here. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. I know anytime you watch a team run the ball really well, there's some pinball effect. People bouncing off of each other. There's also some things of beauty in there when you see these nice, explosive, strong runs. And this guy, he knows how to carry the football really well and continually wants the football. Why? He knows his offensive line is going to give him great effort, and he gives great effort himself to finish off runs. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and ten. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Call. And this is going to be incomplete. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. The 30. Pass the 20, and into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. 
So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. And we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this position. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty. And now look at him go. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A big play there. 63 yards. And the Rams are now just a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Goff now looking to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And the failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Finding some room at midfield. Looking middle, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. to his right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away, but you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game. And, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a 
huge play at this point in the game. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That will leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right, but he will not make the first down marker, and that'll be a turnover on downs. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, it looked like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. Now a give running left for Gurley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Goff fighting fellow second-year man Higby for a Rams first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency. To... And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Back to throw. That is caught inside the five. Doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. A fresh set of downs, and they're at the one. First and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley with time running out. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the fourth. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead is up to five. Kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out on the field now. Here come the 49ers. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, You've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So they'll quickly now signal for the timeout. And it's definitely not looking good, but at least they'll have one final play to hope for that miracle and get them in the end zone. One 
final try now for Garoppolo. Escaping the pressure right. And the pressure gets to him again. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense...